Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Um, what we're going to take a look at in this tutorial is how to add some forces to say um, a grass, a paint effects stroke. Um, this is just some simple grass that I created using paint effects and um, basically that's from the paint effects menu up here and what I've done is I've animated this uh, so that it sort of has some turbulent forces acting on it. A lot of times you may need some, um, you know, some natural organic uh, elements like air uh, blowing through the grass, and this is sort of an easy way to get it done. There's several different ways to do this, but what we'll take a look at today is how to add turbulence um, by just kind of connecting it into the uh, grass clump right here. And there are some properties here that you can work with to make your uh, grass animated. Now, as you can see in this animation, I have I've basically keyframed these pieces of grass to sort of unfold in the beginning of the animation here. So you'll notice that as they go through there, they just sort of unfold. And then, uh, so those are keyframable. And everything in here is pretty much keyframable. Um, you can animate anything from in here. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take a quick scene breakdown. And um, if you look at the render view, this is sort of what I have so far. And it's basically just a, um, you know, I just did some cheesy uh, uh, textures and I sort of painted some rocks in here. But that gives you the overall idea of what we're going for here. Maybe in an architectural thing, you might need to add a little bit of, you know, a little bit of movement and that helps animate the scene. So anyway, this is essentially what it looks like in the viewport. So let's just look at this for a moment before we do anything else. And I'm going to come over here and show you what it is. It shows up as grass clump one. Um, this was the first stroke that I put on the um, on this plane, and um, basically you're going to have some different choices up here in your your tabs menu um, for doing various things. For right now, what we're concerned with is this grass clump one, and you'll notice that there's different. Um, you know, you can give it, you can change the global scale of it by just you know using your global scale there. Um, you can come down here and, and modify some various properties. Right now, what we want to be concerned with is sort of, um, you know, you just want to undo all of these after, we're going to do this later, but we're going to go through and scroll down and see what we're, we're working with here. I'm going to come all the way down to my um, turbulence. Um, it's underneath the tubes and all the way toward the bottom, there's a ton of stuff in here to play with, but what we're looking at here is the turbulence and here's my turbulence section it's in one of the drop downs and you can see that I have a turbulence type grass and wind um, associated with this paint stroke so that's what I want to do is I, you can choose um, some of these other um, options but for this one for right now we're going to choose grass wind because essentially that's what we're creating now check this out I've got this animation set for about 300 frames and if I hit play I can sort of go through here and change these various properties and see what they do. I can say bring the frequency all the way down and that sort of uh, you know gives it this kind of property. Um, I can bring it up and then we'll have more of that kind of thing. I can bring the turbulence speed up so we can give it a lot more a lot more turbulence in the speed. And you can do all sorts of stuff with, um, with these sliders over here to kind of achieve the effect that you're going for. So, you know, essentially you want to kind of look at all this stuff at once and make your adjustments and play around with it quite a bit. And you'll notice too that um, there's, there's things you can add in here like spiral, for example. Um, I have this keyframe, so right now it, I'm, I'm having to keyframe it, but um, I'll show you how to do that later. We've got gravity. If you want to lower the gravity, uh, you can just give it more gravity and that'll bring it down. So there's a lot of things at play here, and um, it's good to just kind of fool around with all of them. But let me show you how to set this up real quick, and um, we'll just start from scratch. So I'm going to just stop that. Let's come up here, and um, let's just create a, a new scene. And I, I'll save those changes. So here we have uh, just our regular grid. Let's go ahead and create a, um, let's just go ahead and create a plane. That'll kind of let us see what we're doing. We'll just sort of drop a plane on there and now let's come up here into um, say paint effects and 
the best way to do this is sometimes you'll notice that in, in your paint effects tab up here you have standard default materials that kind of show up, but that's not all of them. So let's take a closer look at this paint effects get brush option. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up a visor that has all sorts of different stuff in here. So you can just sort of click through here and see what different kind of items you can paint on that plane or whatever you're trying to paint on but for right now we're going to make it simple and we're just going to use grasses and I'm going to choose this grass clump right here so I'm going to click in there and if it doesn't turn yellow it sometimes it may or may not be active you might want to choose your choose tool over here and then click on there and then it uh, becomes active when it's yellow so I'm going to move this to the side for a second we're going to get started I'm going to paint one line of grass and at first you're not really going to see anything pop up there probably. Um, I'll just kind of do that. What I did is just created a stroke. I painted it basically on the on the plane there. So now you're going to notice up here you're going to have a stroke grass clump one, the sh uh, shape of the grass clump and then your actual grass clump. Well what we're interested in right now is this uh, grass clump and you can see its global scale is only set to one so let's just maybe up that to say like 50 alright well that's too much so let's bring it down to say 20 and see what it looks like okay 20 might work um, let's see here yeah we'll go with 20 okay so there it is that's my grass clump one and um, what we might want to do now is just go into our, um, you know, go into your shading mode, um, go into to, to your uh, regular smooth shade. Let's come in here a little bit, and um, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit here, and we'll go up there. And as you can see, we've only set our keyframe, or I mean, our timeline for 24 here. So let's set it to about 300 just to give us some time to work. And now we're ready to look at some of these other things. Um, you know for right now let's just concentrate on assigning it that property of um, of our um, turbulence so let's just scroll all the way down come all the way down and you know you might have to open these up as you go along um, especially under tubes I believe it's under tubes yeah if you uh, click tubes a lot of that will go away and you know you won't have that many options so underneath this one is going to open up a whole bunch of others so just keep on looking for it um, we're going to go right down here into our uh, forces here we go turbulence so right now you can see where my turbulence is set to off so what I can do is just go in here into this box and we're going to come down here and assign it grass wind okay so now we're ready to take a look at what the animation has to play I'm going to play it out and there it is that's the default setting and everything looks pretty cool and it's sort of blowing like it is so remember this is just the first step um, it's an easy way to get some uh, some motion out of your uh, inanimate grass um, so to speak so that's a way to make it make it happen so if I hit play I can increase the turbulence and you'll see where that uh, that gives it a lot more turbulence I can bring that down a bit um, let's say I want to spread it out a little bit more. Um, I can kind of alter the frequency a little bit and get a little bit more air varied activity in there. I can bring it all the way down and now everything kind of moves as one. So that's kind of the, you can see what it does there. So just play around with those quite a bit because these are, these are going to be your main controls. Um, your spiral, watch this. If I go all the way extreme on a spiral, look at them kind of bend around there. Um, if I take my spiral down to the other side it basically will go to the other side and so now now we have something that looks like that now this is the cool thing watch this I'm going to bring it back to the beginning here and I'll keep this say spiral all the way down this way and then over time what we'll do is we'll animate it so that it it kinda creeps back up like that so let's just go here and set it down to minus zero make sure you set it frame one and if you want to set a keyframe on this, just uh, right mouse click on uh, there and set key. So that sets a key right there. Now let's bring it forward about maybe mm, 50 frames. And let's bring this uh, spiral all the way back up to say it's mm, almost zero. And uh, let's go ahead and right click on there and let's set another key. Okay, so let's rewind the animation and you'll see where 
just by doing that it sort of starts out with a kind of a curl and it goes back up to its regular shape alright so that's how you keyframe some of this stuff and you can um, keyframe your gravity you know if I wanted to say have my gravity be starting at this point I could say great I'm gonna set a key right there and then I'm gonna move it ahead a little bit and then I'm going to set this gravity all the way all the way up and let's set a keyframe there so we'll set a key and let's look and see what happened so I'll play around with that I'm gonna start it out there and there you go it's gonna go through it's gonna straighten out now gravity is gonna take effect and kinda of mush it down at this point point. and there you go so that's some ways to control this you can keyframe almost everything you want in here and uh, it's just something to be aware of it's a great concept to know and really what we're after here is just the concept um, you can apply this to you know other types of paint effect strokes and there's no end to what you can do with these things so this is sort of just a quick starting point of an organic um, element that you may need to add a little motion to in your scene and that'll give it a lot more life so um, let's take a look at one more property up here um, you know there's various shadowing uh, and on, on you know usually on a single thing like grass like this just make sure branches are checked if you check leaves um, sometimes you know wacky things will happen so <laughs> you can uh, you can kind of play around with that but really what we want to take a look at is um, this part up here this casting shadows um, you'll notice that uh, if I go back to maybe say right about here let's take a render real quick and um, let's see what that looks like just going to take a render right here. Right now I'm in Mental Ray, and remember that Paint Effects Strokes you need to be using Maya software. Um, it, it just uh, it'll be a pain in the butt if you don't. So essentially that's what I got right now. It doesn't look too pretty, but um, let's let's take a closer look at that. Um, if we had a light in here, I would have to create a light, and let's just put an ambient light in. And oh no, let's let's not let's do a um, let's create a uh, a light that kind of throws a shadow like say a point light and let's take that point light and move it all the way up and yeah we'll just move it into there somewhere we'll bring its intensity up quite a bit maybe turn it on down here so we can see it and um, yeah, we might want to bring this more toward the front um, let me take a quick render on here and we'll see what happens okay so essentially that's what I got but you can see where it's shadowing down here um, I can take that shadow on or off um, let's see let's get back to our outliner let's choose our grass clump um, not the curve but we want the grass clump one and let's take a look at that shadow so it's casting shadows right now if I turn that off um, we'll do another quick render it's just something to be aware of that's kind of where you find your shadows and stuff so you can play around with that um, generally I like um, I like shadows but you know you may need um, to to vary them a little bit you can try the fake shadows up here too these will um, do some different things but right now I don't really think we got time to get into that so anyway just something to be aware of and uh, that's about it so uh, I'm just going to take my uh, intensity down on that light a bit. And there you have it. So go ahead and play around with that. Make your grass, uh, make your grass do some strange stuff. And, um, you know, play around with that concept. So that's about it for this one. And I hope you learned something. And uh, thanks for watching my tutorials. And remember, as always, read a book. Learn something. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching.